Hello everybody, Brad here today and welcome back to Project Hospital. I hope you're all doing okay. So in our last episode of building a realistic hospital, we had a bit of a troubleshooting episode, if you will, where we went round and we just fixed up a few bits here and there. So thank you very much to Lord Paran who let me know that I placed the wrong decal here on the restroom. Very, very easy. I used one for the lounge, I think it is, which basically looks exactly like two people. So thank you very much, Lord Piranha. Thank you for letting me know about that. So in this episode, I have, I've had a bit of an idea. Now, I want to do a few bits first. Please make sure to subscribe down below if you're not already and like the video. And I'm also going to pop in just a really quick poll. Really, really quick. So please click on it. It should appear on your screen. And what's going to ask you to do is select one of a few choices and I just want to know what do you guys like to see in Project Hospital videos episodes do you like to see just building do you prefer to see just treating patients or do you prefer the mixture you know a bit of building a bit of treating in every episode let me know I, I really want to know what you think so this episode what I thought we could do is I've, I've had a bit of a brainwave I think I mean you might think I'm completely talking utter crap but what I thought we could do is I saw this space, right? And then the departments we've got left, we've got like orthopedia and then a few of the modded departments. And I thought, well, I could probably squeeze orthopedia in here. I mean, it'd be a small department. Then I looked through and I thought, well, oncology doesn't get quite as many patients. So maybe we could get an oncology department in here. But I've just had a bit of a brainwave. I've still got downloaded the mod by Sleepy, which is a new department to the game, which is the plastic surgery. So what I thought we'd do is this is because the plastic surgery department doesn't get many patients in. Let's just get in the plastic surgery department. It's just this is going to be the perfect size for that because you need a very small ward, very small high dependency unit. You know, you don't need a lot at all. So I thought that was a good idea to have here. And then as we move up through our hospital, then we can think about how we want to organize these kind of top floors. I've got lots to do outside still. Like I want to sort out all of these windows, which are a bit of a, a mismatch. And uh, yeah, so I need to basically sort out everything outside. So what I'm gonna do is let's just get started at building out our plastic surgery department. Now this looks like it needs foundations. Looks like it's not foundations at the moment. There we go, there we go, and yeah, that one's fine. I'm actually, I'm, I'm more than happy to have that as a corridor because you can't get into infectious diseases, which is here, but you can go up into cardiology, I believe this is. And then I don't think I want that to connect to that intensive care unit. So again, I'm just gonna leave that. So at the moment, we're just using a white ward, go around the outside, round the outside. The real slim shady, there we go round the edge and I'll just do a white wall here in the middle for the meantime whilst we decide on our colour um, palette for this department. Right so what I'm going to do is let's just pop in these windows here in line with the ones downstairs. Downstairs I think we've got nephrology, what have we got downstairs? Nephrology and cardiology? Nephrology, cardiology, yay! I kind of know my own hospital layout. So here we go. If you didn't check out my episode where I actually look at the plastic surgery department, I will link that down below for you, good people. So go and check that out. So it's a mod by Sleepy. Sleepy, I believe, also done the oncology mod, which is, I mean, it's just, it's just fantastic. Look at these windows. Bradley, what are you doing? Let's just do something like this. And I, I need to spend like a lot of time off camera just sorting those kind of things out. Um, so yeah, really go and check that episode out because honestly guys, it's such a cool department. It's one of my favourite modern departments I think. Because it's just something different and I really like that. And as I said in the episode, I'm bloody obsessed with Grey's Anatomy at the moment. So that probably has something to do with it as well. Right, okay, so there is our blank canvas. So let's open up plastic surgery. I really like this icon by the way, I really like that icon. So we need some plastic surgery offices. Obviously, you know that you need some doctor's offices in a specialized clinic. Then we're gonna need a waiting room and we'll pop in a cleaning closet reception. We'll copy that from down below. And then we need these few bits over here, but these are gonna be on a much smaller scale. So let's grab out. So if I was to copy this, I would need up to there, I believe. 
Um, but it is actually going to be a much smaller reception area. And all of that kind of jazz, actually, isn't it? So let's copy that upstairs and then we'll um, we'll figure it all out. Can I... Is that going to do weird things with the elevator? Yeah, because the elevator's there. Right, let's go back. Let's go back. Let's go back. Let's copy that. Because that is... Let's copy up to there. Because those are all things that we definitely need. Common room, restroom, cleaning closet, you know, all that kind of stuff. Um, patient restroom. Those are all things that we're, we're going to need to build anyway. So we might as well just copy it. The reception is just going to be a bit smaller though. So if we prefab this, we're just going to need something like, I mean that basically. It's going to be on a much smaller scale. Right, so this one here, that needs to be our general corridor. And then we'll make this a full glass. I like that. Oh no, God's sake. Can I have my door back please? Bloody hell, nip my door. Right, there we go. So a full bit of glass, I like that. And we can delete that bit from the end. There we go, right. Colour-wise, what am I thinking? Colour-wise, go into the brain, colour-wise. What am I thinking, colour-wise? Um, let's go yellow. Mellow yellow. So corridors are gonna be mellow yellow. At Actually, yeah, I'm going to keep the general brown theme, actually. I quite like the general brown theme. So that goes to there. And then yellow. What kind of... Oh, we've got the double stripe. A cheeky bit of double stripe in here. And we've got some tiles. I don't think I'm going to change the colour of... Oh, well, that, that, I didn't do that. I just lied. Um, I think I'm going to not bother changing the equipment colour. So I'll just leave that as red. Obviously, I'll change the floor. And then the floor, oh, do I like a yellow? A yellow floor's a bit strange, isn't it? Oh, nah. Let's go for it, guys. Let's go for it. You only live once, don't you? There we go. There we go. A nice mellow yellow floor. And then we still got a bit of wall. That needs to be mellow yellow. That is yellow tiles. There we go. Now, I think I'll just change the doors to yellow ones. So that one. Uh, that again just didn't do what I wanted to do so that one that one that one that one that one and then yeah, everything else is fine really I mean we've got a few like cardiology posters which I might just keep up or actually do we have any which are probably more like plastic surgery based oh like eye that would make sense wouldn't it have an oh no can I poster please thank you so pop up an eye poster um, what else have we got here? Veins. Yeah, I mean, that'll do, that'll do. That'll do, Donkey, that'll do. And then, yeah, so the only objects which are actually red because of this this was the cardiology prefab are the bed and the curtains, which I'm absolutely fine with. That's not a problem at all. So what we need to do now is basically just delete all of those room zones. Like, there we go. And then we go on to plastic surgery. So this is going to be a waiting room. Here we go. Then we're going to want the plastic surgery doctor's offices. Beautiful, beautiful. Then we're going to have a restroom here, which is... Oh yeah, actually they're both patient restrooms, aren't we? We don't have any staff restrooms here. There we go. And then that's going to be a staff only corridor. Just like so. That is a cleaning of the closet. And this is a room which is common. Now... Part of this is going to need to be turned into a cafeteria. So that's that. And then this here, let's make all of that into a reception, actually. So actually, let's do it that way around. Beautiful. And then the rest of that is going to be a corridor. So let's go over to the admin department. And then this bit here, I believe, is the bit that needs to be a cafeteria. There we go. Lovely. Lovely, right. And then um, absolute minimum, that is also going to be, no, non-admin. We want it as a plastic surgery corridor. There we go. Right, okay, so I like that. That's a very good basis to work with. So now we need to think about things like the wards, diagnostic units, doctors on call rooms, nurses stations, operating room, all of that kind of good stuff. Now, I quite liked how we... Um, Kind of like planned list. I quite like this. You have like the specific on call room and nurse station to the operating room, but I think we'll incorporate the ward 
or at least a high dependency unit around us because we're not going to need many staff at all for this. So let's copy that like so. Yep, that looks good. Now, is there an obvious area? It's probably, I mean, it could go down there. Could it go there? I mean, yeah, it could go there. And then we could have the wards opposite. Or it could just go the opposite way. So this goes up there. And then the wards are down the bottom. Which I think I like better. I, I believe, I believe I like that better. So let's pop that in. It'll just take a while. Oh, I've popped it in the wrong place because I'm a bloody idiot. So let's do that. Bum, 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 bum. Right, and then what we're going to want to do is delete. Oh, that actually fits. Perfect. I think you should love when the plan comes together. Like that. And then what we're going to want to do is select that row there of just objects and we'll just move that back. And then let's just go around and we'll delete the extra windows, which I think we've got on all of them now. There's one there. Delete that one as well. That one, please. Thank you. Right, stretchers are definitely not going to need that many stretchers everywhere. Let's get rid of all of those. That can stay there. That can move back. And then let's just have that as the general hospital floor and then the wood. I'm happy with the wood at the back. Right, so tiles. We're going to have yellow tiles in the operating theatre. Then we'll go for the brown general corridor look. And then in here, we'll do the yellow. We'll do a bit of mellow yellow. I might just make this whole thing mellow yellow, actually. Should I just do that? I think it just makes a bit more sense. Oh, I didn't do the corridor wall. I'm an idiot. Like that. And then that can stay brown. I'm happy that to stay brown. And then we'll sort that out in a minute. Right, okay. So again, this all needs to be deleted. And then this is going to be the plastic surgery space. So this must be the on-call room there. Then we have the nurse's station at the back. Then we have a corridor there, which is staff only. Only the staff, please. No, no, no. Only the staff, thank you. And then that's going to be an operating room right is that all lovely that's all bloody lovely right so what i'm going to do is just going to change a few of these tiles and we'll change that to the yellow because that's our theme here in our plastic surgery department a bit like that oh that's bloody lovely that is bloody lovely right so i'm tempted to get in some walls back here so maybe something like yeah, maybe something like that and just get like a bit of glass just to kind of separate it a little bit. And then this rogue, wet, wet, if I can speak wet floor, so I can go in the middle there. Yeah, OK. And then obviously we'll pop in more decorations into there, most likely. Right, so we haven't got many things left. We've only got a diagnostic unit and then our wards because our lounge will go down here. How big do these lounges need to be? Like, can that be a lounge? Yeah, because that'll be plenty big enough. Like, that's going to be plenty big enough. Because I'm not going to have... I mean, when i done my little test of the department, I didn't get many hospitalised patients at all, actually. Okay, brilliant. Right, so then if we were to do... We'll go over here and copy two high dependency units. I mean, that's going to be absolutely plenty, I think. And then if that goes like there... Or does it make sense that that actually goes like there? If we moved all this back one, and then the high dependency unit is like in this space here, that could work, couldn't it? Because then that's near the on-call room and the nurse's station then. Or do we just do one, like literally one unit here against the wall, if I delete that fire extinguisher, that might make sense. It might. I said might, guys, okay? It could be absolutely garbage. So if we popped that in there, like that, and then that is our yellow wall. That goes across there. We'll get some doors. So you get the, you slide in double doors. 
and that there is like the entrance a bit like so and then that's the entrance to um, the on-call room and nurses station I think that will make sense so let's do that and we'll do windows all there as well can I not put it on the corner because of the defibrillator or something okay I will sort that out momentarily so then this would be a high dependency unit so what do I need for that to work oh we just need a door <laughs> just need a door so let's pop that in there yeah now that all works and then this here would be a corridor uh, that would probably need to be blue and then you have that bit there when it goes into the rest of the room now I'm gonna zone this as corridor but I don't know if you need to um, it is all going to be staff only but I, know that, I don't know if that needs to be a corridor for nurses to get to the back I, I doubt it actually but we're going to go with it we're going to go with it right word we need the vertical in there and then in here I'm just going to go like tiles and then we'll have the yellow corridor and then this room can be whatever this wall here is lovely that's bloody lovely and then let's get rid of that window and we'll pop in a window there instead yeah so just a it's literally one high dependency unit which i think is do you know what i don't know if we're ever going to get a patient in here i really don't um okay i like that it's something different we'd like different here guys you've got to be different haven't you right so what else do we need we're going to need a diagnostic unit again one that's going to be plenty and then our only thing left is going to be our regular ward so diagnostic unit well let's do ward first actually let's do ward first so i think i mean like i mean i think literally like two beds is going to be more than plenty so should we copy that so we've got three beds and then that is just you know that i think that's overkill to be honest but at least then we've just got it i think that makes sense um so let's do that and we'll pop that down there no i don't like that there do i like that there yeah okay and then so that's gonna need to be the yellow corridor this needs to be yellow corridor that needs to be yellow corridor and then i'll leave that one there as brown yeah okay i like this i like this so that's gonna be the double yellow door then in here we're gonna go for that wall just cuz guys just cuz i like it and then our flooring we're going to go for like the yellow line over there at the back and in terms of windows or as i say up north or windows let's get rid of those and those and i'll keep the the red objects in there that's not a problem at all okay i like that very small very um petite shall we say so we need a diagnostic unit so let's go ahead and we'll copy one of these and now i'm just thinking to myself just thinking in the old noggin here of what we're going to do with the extra space that we have have i like is there anything where we could get like double and have two rooms of that or you know is that needed i don't think it is really let's delete that window there and then this window this wall rather needs to be yellow and then that's brown right okay so i oh i need to change the floor in here it's coming like that it's actually quite nice it's like a pale red which is quite nice actually but let's change that to a pale mellow yellow right so we either just have the big corridor which i don't really like i'll be honest with you so that would be a regular wall which should have everything and then that'll be a diagnostic unit high dependency zero hmm okay not accessible for patients does that need to be a green corridor now yay now we have one right okay so i'm just thinking yeah this is quite a bland open corridor isn't it 
We of course do not want that bit to be a wall. Um, I don't know. I mean, I think that's okay. We could just double up the diagnostic rooms. We've got no budget. You know, we've got no financial restrictions. So I think let's just double up on the diagnostic unit. Just so we've got a little bit less corridor space. There we go. Right, so what I'm going to do, guys, is I'm going to go away. And I'm going to staff all this up. I'm going to sort out the corridors, get some corridor objects, and then what we'll do is we'll do a bit of treating of patients at the end of this video. Um, so yeah, this one will be a 50-50, but please do vote in that poll or comment down below, do whatever you want, really. Um, I just want to know, yeah, I just want to get a bit of feedback from you guys, you know, if you, if you only like to see building or if you only like to see treatment of patients or... I imagine the most popular choice is going to be, you know, that mixture of both. And I, I try to do both in episodes. Building actually takes quite a while, but um, I do try and do a bit of both. So now we've built this up, I'll go away. I'll do those boring bits of staffing it all up, choosing the best staff, getting the corridors to look at least semi-realistic, and then we'll be back. And then, I mean, I doubt we'll see any patients in this department, actually. It does seem like you don't get many patients, which is, I think, is good. I think that's realistic. Um, but if we don't, then, you know, I'm sure there's going to be patients all around the hospital that need our attention. So I will see you very shortly. So, guys, basically every single person in this hospital has either collapsed or died since I've last spoken to you. Oh, Liam, just deal with it, mate. Go away. So we've actually had a patient, this is the first time I've seen this in this department, admitted to the high dependency unit, which is very, very interesting. So we've got, I mean, you can't see her because she's behind the curtain there. But there you go, all of the walls aren't going to be painted, but there she is. So we've got Simone Williams. Now, it's just a long wait for bed. I mean, you're in bed, Simone. So stop moaning, mate. So she's in here because she's actually had an amputated digit. Um a traumatic amputation which is quite interesting so basically what we need to do is you know try and attach that digit back onto good old Simone so we need replantation and this is actually the first ever surgery I've, I've ever seen for the plastic surgery department which is really cool so replantation refers to the surgical reattachment of a body part such as a finger hand toe that's been completely cut from the body the goal of replantation surgery is to reattach and restore function to as much of the injured part as possible, right? All makes sense. So she actually just needs to go to surgery. Um, we'll give some emergency care. Because, yeah, I mean, you know, she's got that open wound. Um, yeah, probably lots of blood, that kind of, you know, yucky stuff. So let's just, we're going to, oh. Oh, sorry, game. I'm sorry. I thought you were Simone. And we've got another patient here. Who's this? She's also got an amputated digit. What have you two been doing? Eh? Eh? Both of you need to come in with amputated digits. I don't buy it. I don't buy it. Right. So, um, my genius idea of the high dependency unit being there has um, failed already miserably. So, what we should do, like, what about if we go in here... And we actually copy this. That goes opposite. I mean, on there. So let's move all of this shizzle out of the way. Um, no, just go away. I don't care where you go. We're not having fire extinguishers anymore. We're not having them. If you die, you die, is what I say. That's the age old motto. Right, so turn that around. That'll be there. And then all we have to do is move the door to the operating theatre. Oh, right. I mean, let's just let that play out a bit to let people move around. Right. So we want to say that that door now goes... Why can you not just do what I want you to do for once? <sighs> it's a struggle, guys. It really, really is a struggle. There we go. Right, so now we delete that, all of those windows, that door, that, that, no. Oh, that's the double door opening. Sorry, game. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Right, so what wall are we using for in there? The weird one. I think it's this weird one. So that one goes there like that. We get the yellow corridor wrapping around. 
And that's it, I think. I think that's basically it. And that should be another... Why have you not done that? That should be another high dependency unit. So then... Oh my god. I'll tell you, if one more patient collapses, I'm just going to... I'm going to lose my rag. Right, just, just deal with it. Code blue. I don't care about you, Jerry. Go away. Right, now, Simone, you should be able to come up here to the high dependency unit, please. I don't really know what's going on there. She might just be waiting for a nurse. But look, our first ever surgery in the plastic surgery department. Michael Hernandez is now a specialist. Great, fantastic, awesome, great. Cool. Let's fast forward. Are we going to get the surgeons? Surgeons? Hello, surgeons? Can we... Oh, my God, this camera. Can we come in here and, like, operate, please? You know, kind of, like, do your job? Hello? Hello? Never go. Oh, oh, now we need to go. Bloody idiots, guys. Bloody idiots. Let's get one more window in there. So we should have a patient coming up. Yeah, okay, so they are now both filled. Okay, lovely. And then Simone should also go in for her surgery as well, um, which is great. Awesome. This camera is really starting to annoy me now. I don't know if anyone else, I know Blala was getting it as well, but it just keeps like spamming out and it'll just go mental. Awesome. So they're going to do the replantation surgery on Simone. No, the other lady, Alison. Sorry, Alison McTaggart. McTaggart. Yeah, that one. So that's all going to happen swiftly, which is absolutely fantastic. Let's have a look at this. I mean, they're, they're at her head for some reason. I mean, I don't think her head fell off, did it? Now they're at her stomach. Again, for reasons that I'm not too sure about. I don't know why. I mean, her stomach didn't fall off, did it? So, right, pathology. Let's just sort that out. Oh, I can't see anyone. Great. So I'm just going to have to go there. I did actually change a bit of pathology because our we needed a new dialysis ward for our nephrology department. So I actually had to uh, expand here. So I just moved the nurse station up. So go to the funeral services, Liam. You were one of my collapses, weren't you? Bloody Liam. Wasting my time collapsing. So inconsiderate. So inconsiderate. Oh, that looks oh my God. I, do you what? I thought I made quite a good hospital here, but obviously not because everyone's moaning about something. Go away, Stacey. Go and get a life. Hello, Ross. How are you doing today? We need to sort out nephrology, okay? I'm going to write that down right now as what we're going to do at least before or in the next episode is sort out nephrology. It needs to be moved. We need more rooms, more staff, all of that kind of jazz because it's where the crux of the issues is at the moment. Anyway, guys, I'm going to leave this episode here for today. Please comment down below, like the video, subscribe if you haven't already. Take care of yourselves and I'll see you very shortly in the next video. See you later. Thank you very much for watching the video guys, I really hope you enjoyed it. Please consider giving it a like and subscribing to the channel down below if you haven't done so already. And please feel free to follow me on Facebook, Twitter and Instagram. Have a great day, see you later.